In southeast London, a hit and run driver is trying to get away from traffic police. Okay, Tango 2 1, you've still got the vehicle in charge. Okay, I'm still behind the vehicle. The chase has become so dangerous that the sky cops are needed. Indian 9 9, potential call to a green Audi E4. Yeah, we're literally 30 seconds from this. 90 right, yeah, got it, got it, got it. MP from Indian 9 9, we are overhead this pursuit. Even though the car is badly damaged, the dangerous driver has no intention of giving up. We'll get lots of sparks off the near side of the car, obviously, with the uh, tyres blown over. Just driving like a complete lunatic, no regard to many other road users on and off the road. And he just quite plainly was not going to stop until he either ran out of fuel or crashed. Tonight, as the sparks fly, Teenage fools turn Guy Fawkes night into a war zone. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got we recorded. And the battle to stop gangs of crazy muggers who use push bikes to make their escape. He's out of back, out of back, out of back. All in his way, we've got a runner out of back. Dog van, go to the rear guard. In southeast London, the dangerous driver who's wanted for a hit and run is still pushing his damaged car to the limit. Head people from 99, that's now underneath uh, junction 2 of the F25. Currently approximately 40, 40 miles an hour. So India 99, can you take over the commentary, MP Take over the commentary means Sky Cop Simon Pritchard assuming command of the pursuit, even though he's only a PC. A road condition still fairly clear in front of him, loads of sparks coming off. Uh, can you confirm you're receiving downlink over? Yes, yes, we are receiving it now, thank you. Because of the pursuit policy that the Met Police now has, they know that we will declare ourselves as a ground commander. Even senior officers, you're telling them what to do, and because they've um, got a bird's eye view of everything going on, and um, they need to trust and believe in what, what you say. It's approaching uh, the exit. And I'd say that he's him committed still. The driver is 18 and doesn't seem at all bothered that he's being chased by police. He had time to light up a cigarette. He obviously had the confidence and uh, felt he had the time to, to do that. I don't think I'd have been quite the same in that position. But... <laughs> Beyond M35, still travelling 82 South, lane 2 and 3. The teenager has been on the run for four hours. He and his car appear to have at last run out of steam. He'd slowed down a number of times, and that normally indicates that they're either looking for somewhere to bail out or they're going to give up. And it looks like um, he's coming to a standstill. Stand by on that one, still going slightly, pulling over off the main carriageway. Units wait, 99 active, uh, that's a decamp. Indian 99 received, uh, repetition, we have got uh, this on down link. Andy, we've got the driver. AMP, as you can probably see, uh, driver and sole occupant now detained. Indian 99, that's all received, thank you. Well done to all units. It's November the 5th, and at the Sky Cops base on the edge of Epping Forest, they're gearing up for one of the busiest nights of the year. Two helicopters will be in the air tonight, each with extra fuel on board. We could take up to 590 kilograms of fuel, so uh, if you're happy, we'll run with 450 on the first sortie, and we can discuss whether you want to take slightly more. Last year, Fireworks night was ruined for many when hordes of criminals took to the streets. Parties and firework events give some people a good excuse to go out and commit crimes because they've got a lot of background noise. They've got the noise of the fireworks going off, so they can make a lot of noise without people noticing. This year, the police aren't taking any chances. In South London, Superintendent Harrington is cracking down on gangs. Joint aims, minimise street crime, street robbery reduce the risk of harm from fireworks, 
provide reassurance and part of this being seen, part of people seeing what we're working together out there with the high visibility jackets is the people of Lewisham will see that we're working together to reduce that and that reassures people. There's two things to this, there's the public order and the public safety side of this and also those criminal elements that, uh, that are out anyway that we, we're on top of those and making sure that they're uh, either behaving themselves or uh, if they're not that we're uh, uh, dealing with them and arresting them if they commit offences. The Sky Cops, call sign India 99, are part of the Lewisham crackdown. Their thermal imaging camera is a key weapon. India 99, Thank you, good evening to you. Just to let you know, uh, we're currently around the Peckham area. If you get anything in, you think it's suitable for the aircraft. 877, Bright lights to Peckham, Peckham. Peckham, yeah. The pictures from India 99 are being beamed into a special Met Police Command Centre at Scotland Yard. This is where senior officers can watch the heli telly and other CCTV pictures from around London. Meanwhile, in Peckham, South East London, trouble is brewing already. But it's fireworks, not muggers. Okay, thank you. Oh, I tell you what, then down, down left, no. On the railway line, we've got some oh, trains yeah. talking about with uh, fireworks. Oh, yeah, firing, firing them in the street. Yeah, firing them in the street, right down below. Yeah, I've got a bit of firing at his feet. He is, isn't he? He's shooting them. Yeah. It's the first year I've seen gangs battling it out on the streets with fireworks. You see people doing some stupid things with fireworks, but um, to see them shooting rockets at each other down the road and then bouncing off cars and houses was uh, pretty amazing. Amazingly dangerous, and the Sky Cops need to get officers on the ground to this battle quickly. Innocent bystanders and children are also on the street. I don't know if you've got a spare unit to uh, go along to Braze Yard Road. Uh, five, six lads running around the streets, yeah, setting off fireworks, firing them at cars and uh, each other. They certainly need a word, somebody's going to get seriously hurt. I recall one of the guys actually being hit square in the back with what appeared to be some sort of rocket, which was ludicrous, you know. What was going through their minds, I've no idea. It's not only fools with fireworks who are running the police ragged tonight. In Lewisham, large gangs of teenagers wearing scream masks are on the streets, mixing Halloween and trick-or-treating with bonfire night. A young lad's already been mugged, and the crackdown team are determined to find those responsible. How many do you think was um, in the group? Between 20 to 25 boys. They took all our stuff and started searching us. They took my phone. What we're just doing is suppose he's driving around the area. Um, if we see the people concerned, we'll detain them. The victim cannot be seen. The windows of the police car have been tinted. He is wearing a blue tracksuit. He has got tight cane rolled hair. Is that the person that was doing the talking? You think so? We can't see you because because we're in a dark car. You've come from a group, all right? that's uh, allegedly been concerned in uh, an early robbery. OK, for that reason, now searching for stolen goods, all right? How old are you? 16. 16. I used to go trick, trick or treating, mate, when I was 12. You say we just stopped these ewes. A little bit old for a trick or treating. And this is the type of crime we're actually talking about. The gent who's there now been arrested on suspicion of that robbery. A thousand feet above Peckham, India 99 is still involved in the firework fight night. It's a dangerous game of paintball, basically, yeah. they're playing. For some reason he's running away, this one. Was he the one that was firing and running? Yeah, this one yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. No. The crew can speak directly to each police officer Mike on the ground. Mike 3, they seem to split up. We've got the main group that were last seen uh, firing these fireworks. You're a with Peckham High Street. Um, about 50 seconds. That's all we're saying. Either they're not thinking or they're on drugs or drunk. And if it goes wrong, my golly, will they regret it for the rest of their life. Yeah. All right, thank you. Police cars just about to come up behind them. Be good, mate. Police cars just come around the corner. Could be. We communicated to ground units to, to go to this area. The fireworks have gone, unfortunately. The next time, potentially, we'd be turning up and then we'd be asking for an ambulance and they'd be carted off with major burns. 
unfortunately uh, they grouped up, so we're not sure one which one's one the ring leader now. Uh, one at the so front, certainly be worth checking their on. age. Um, yeah. Thank you to Mike Three and the other unit that assisted with the uh, firework bandits. <laughs> Once on the ground, back at base, PC Airs and crew prepare for another vital mission, dinner. Microwave special? Yeah, oh yeah, my normal. It's a lot nicer than my homemade <laughs> sausage videos. But they cannot ignore the dangers they face tonight, or the fact that they are flying again. People were discharging fireworks, the youngsters could take an opportunity to take a pot shot of the aircraft, but you never know. But um, the heights you operate at and the, the, your domestic fireworks wouldn't reach the aircraft anyway. But just mindful of it. It's causing a lot of smoke. There's no wind tonight, so it's, uh, it's just lingering. While PC Airs prepares to face the lingering smoke, tens of thousands of bonfire night revellers are descending on Blackheath in South London to watch one of the capital's biggest firework displays. Last year we expected, and we did get roughly 60,000 people. It really, really can go wrong very quickly, so it's just a case of keeping on top of it, trying to think a little bit ahead. Thinking ahead means calling on the Sky Cops. Smoke permitting, of course. Looking a bit hazy, actually. Yeah. Hopefully it's a climb up. Oh, there's something else in the road. At Scotland Yard, in the control centre, Sky Cop Sergeant Brandon is in charge of Indian 99. Yeah. Indian 99 receiving GT. Uh, GT, good evening to you. Uh, we're now routing south the river for uh, directions on uh, the Blackheath fireworks. My uh, gut feeling would be to get yourselves in a bit closer so that we're, we're visible as a deterrent as well as um, providing the pictures of it. We'll dangle the pictures for you, GT, and uh, start counting. In Blackheath, it's hotting up. Crowd numbers are well up on last year's 60,000. Um, I guess the is uh, 18,000, 18,000. With so many people spread over such a large area, the only chance commanders have of knowing what's really going on is to watch the pictures from 9-9. They are pretty much all of our vision on the heath during an event like this because we don't have the ability to see otherwise. They are, don't make them big-headed, but they're worth the weight in gold, to be honest with you. Be a good thousand feet above the fireworks. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people there. It's heaving, isn't it? Why would it really is heaving? Come on. They're obviously still waiting for the fireworks to go off. So nobody's brought a match. Who's got the light? I thought you had it. <laughs> the primary role of the aircraft on an event like this is is public safety. So we're we're able to um, to monitor the crowd. We're also, you know, perfectly capable of picking up um, gangs of youths that are running through the crowd, perhaps rob it, robbing the crowd or whatever. That sort of thing we can see. It's not robbers in the crowd bothering the police in Lewisham, two miles away. They're worried about rival teenage gangs. Over the last three or four nights, there have been problems with gangs sort of infighting and the Blackheath fireworks is the perfect opportunity for them to get together and sort out their problems. The strategy is to break up the gangs before they can fight, something which doesn't always go down well. There's one young lady being arrested there for assault on police as far as I understand. You can probably hear her. Looks like most of the group have just split up to be honest. The police are also concerned about criminal gangs who steam through the crowds watching the fireworks. In previous years, we've had problems with gangs meeting up, big groups going through the crowd, what we call steaming, grabbing what they can. And already, steamers have been grabbing what they can, but not in Lewisham or Blackheath. Crowds watching a display in Victoria Park in East London have been robbed by a gang of teenage steamers. 
With PC Airs & Co busy over Blackheath, the Skycops will have to launch a second helicopter. Victoria Park, Rigsaw Games gathering. At least one woman has had her bag snatched by eight youngsters. Dark Delta 9, I'm over the top, but got any further. The steamers have escaped on push bikes, and officers on the ground have lost them. Down there, yeah, to the right of that, I think. The Sky Cops need to get lucky. Right, come by, come by, only, oh, right, only. Yeah. down a bit. Yeah. In there, fire. Okay. Yes, yeah, 9 we've got out to the suspects if you uh, want to assist. They're uh, now into uh, the road towards McCaffrey Road. Over. The steamers clearly know where they're going and the risks they must take to get there. Oh, go on. Oh, 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 oh. Over Blackheath, India 99 has a problem, a dangerous one. Someone in the crowd below is shining a green laser right into the cam of the helicopter. There he is. Right, he's in the middle of Blackheath, isn't he? Yeah. This is becoming a, an increasing problem. And in the past, it tends to be the red lasers, which didn't seem to be quite so bright. But the green ones they're getting hold of now, they blind you for a few seconds if they catch you in the eye. And also, if they get them inside the cockpit, they turn everything green, make it difficult to see the instruments. So they are a hazard. I take it they've got PCs wandering around, in there. Indian 99, Indian 99, Just to let you know, we've got one of the crowd uh, that's got a nice green laser that's shining at us. Yeah. You're not sure, is it lightning? or You certainly don't want to be in lightning in a, in a helicopter. If the, the pilot happens to stare into the beam directly, the, the potentials are unthinkable. I take it you're driving the uh, low-light camera at the moment, is that correct? Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, give what it a go, want? see if there's any officers nearby. What these guys don't realise is when they shine a big laser at us, all it does is mark them out to us, it draws our attention to them. So immediately we're going to look at these guys, zoom in, identify them, and in some cases we'll get them sent a call. But not tonight. Too many people, not enough cops. Yeah, they're just hanging around on octagonal estate. Uh... In East London, PC Arnold and the crew in the second helicopter are still after the steamers on bikes. Is that a police car now? 62, 62. Three. As officers on the ground start to make arrests, some of the craftier thieves split up, hoping some at least will give the Sky Cops the slip. What one are you going with? Right, it's going with one that's going south, Rich. Look at me. And go right towards the building. They haven't reckoned with an adversary as determined as PC Boxall Hunt and his thermal imaging camera. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? He's double back, double mate. Back. He's come back towards his mate. Also determined to catch the steamers is the Sky Cops pilot, Captain Anderson. Well, they've gone in that block of flats. The most challenging flying one's probably got to be the chases, the, especially bicycles, because they can go absolutely anywhere. If you're following a car, you can pretty much look ahead and see what's happening in the road ahead, but what options they've got on a bicycle. They can go up alleyways, they can cut across parks. It's quite a dynamic um, situation when you're chasing bikes. There they go. They're still hanging around there. No, no, not right now. Southbound back to the North Park. The pair of steamers have reached their destination, and it seems where they live. Stand by the gun in the house. Bear with me. I'll find that address. Yeah, you've got a unit coming down now. Go up top. Stay on the front. That's the house there. Yeah. Right, right. Good. The unit is fine. Just uh, we'll cover the back. But the game isn't over yet. He's out the back. Out the back. Out the back. All units wait, we've got a runner out the back. Dog van, go to the rear guard, run around the back, Hunter. Dog handlers are already at the scene, and the Sky Cops must get them to where the steamer is. 99, can we get his garden to uh, contain, please? The male is running southbound along the gardens. He's just hiding there. Oh, right. right. Stand by, he's, um, stop, stop, stop. Dog van, can you go in the rear gardens, please? 999. No, no, no. He's just hiding. Yeah, there he's he is. He's in a bush. Yeah, he's in a bush. Get a dog on him. Can I bring my furry crocodile for your house? <laughs> I'm going to send my land shark into your back garden. Land <laughs> shark. <laughs> it's the left hand side of the garden, keeping the house to your back. I'm sure a dog will find it. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh. Boxall Hunt can see clearly, but the cops on the ground can't see a thing. There, he's got him. He's got him. Oh, come on. There he goes. 
Awesome. <laughs> Get just on. zoom out, please, mate. Get on the floor. Right behind us. To help the officers deal with their prisoner, the Sky Cops use their torch. 30 million candles worth of night sun. Oh, that's good, man. Stuck with the right person as well, which is good. Quite impressed with that. Meanwhile, on Blackheath, they're going to be fireworks. Giving us a wide orbit, 1800 feet. And here we go, they're starting up now. Two, one. Yeah, nice, eh? Mm. Quite dense crowd. India 99 are not only watching over law-abiding citizens below, they're carefully scanning the crowds for gangs and anything else out of the ordinary. People know they're up there, there uh, they can hear them, and there's a proven crime reduction role when they can hear the helicopter above, people commit less crime. Specifically, if there are incidents, they can respond directly to that uh, and assist us by either tracking offenders, identifying offenders and, uh, and going to places and looking at places that we can't get to. In East London, the crew of the second helicopter in a spot of bother. Officers on the ground appear to have lost the second steamer. Indian 9-9. One, two, going on. We're uh, currently inside. Can you confirm how many uh, people ran into the distress? It was two over. It was two that ran into the distress. Right, in that case, we've got one detained in the rear gun and uh, one outstanding, I believe. Well, it's going to be in the address somewhere. Goodness. No, he's going to be in there. We would have seen two come out, wouldn't we? Right, what we'll do is we'll review the tape. He's in the loft, isn't he, or under the yeah. bed, aren't I? Yeah, oh, you carry on what you're doing. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep searching. You carry on searching. By using the helicopter's unique playback system, you see Arnold can see if anyone else came out of the house unnoticed. Right, one out. One the right. him on the inside, then. Doctor to one three, thank you. Yeah. Uh, nobody else has come out of the back of that premises, either. Nobody else at all. You do doubt yourself sometimes because these things happen very quickly. We go to a lot of calls where officers have gone into the front of premises and there's nobody covering the back and the suspects know there's nobody covering the back. So they run out the back. Um, if we hadn't been there, he may have got away. With the house surrounded, there's not much more the Sky Cops can do, except head for home. No problem, um, yeah, I can't yeah, assist you anymore. We've got a task in elsewhere now, so um, we have to leave you to it. Actually, um, you need a copy of the tape. Just send up the request for mother. Thank you very much. We've given this £5 million piece of equipment and you try and use it to the best of your ability. You make it your mission not to let these people get away. A thousand feet over Blackheath, the crew of India 99 are really starting to suffer from the thickening smoke. <laughs> Smoke's getting thicker. <laughs> Smell it as well. Yeah. It's the big ones now. Yeah, Gwen Finale. We can pay for this. No, no, not a pop on our choice. <laughs> the grand finale is not a moment too soon. Visibility is fading fast. Go ahead. Yeah, unfortunately, we've moved off to the north uh, because of the smoke. Um, what you're actually seeing is smoke, not cloud. Yeah, that's all we're seeing. I'm guessing that uh, that pretty much is the end of the event. Yeah, it all appears to have gone dark. Uh, I'll just wait for the dispersal now. Because of the large numbers here this evening, it is going to be very congested and very busy. Straight on that way. The main concern of the event organisers was the dispersal of thousands and thousands of people so we can cover a very large area and, and very quickly in a way that the ground officers can't. We can give them uh, just a quick sweep round Lewisham Town Centre. Particularly concentrating on crime from a robbery point of view. Yeah, that's for safe though. Um, that is heaving down there, look at that. Jeez. People-tastic. 
loop on the south corner is the uh, cut point. Yeah. Blackheath Common, it's meant to be dark so that people can enjoy the fireworks. Unfortunately, those with a criminal intent would see that as a good opportunity to come and prey on the vulnerable crowd. And that's a big challenge for the police to make sure that we deal with that and we make the event safe and, and enjoyable for people. Well, I'm really pleased, yeah, it's all worked out. As you can see for yourself, the crowds have uh, dissipated. They're pretty much looking after themselves now with no police intervention, that's what we're after. And so far, no news is good news. But bad news is heading 99's way. A weather front is moving in fast, and combined with the firework smoke, this could end the mission before it's time. The fizz is down to 2-4, so if you don't have to get a couple of orbits, um, I think the captain's looking to uh, head back in. Louis, we're going back now. No, that's absolutely fine. Um, and the helicopter's very capable. It can fly in cloud. It's got a, a very capable autopilot that will fly the aircraft to an airfield. But of course, if you're in cloud and you can't see the ground, then you can't do the police task, especially in the winter. The weather's constantly changing and you constantly need to monitor it. Otherwise, people get caught out. Yeah, you can see it's coming in, can't you? Yeah, I think it's thickening up. Yeah. Yeah, the forecast. It's not only at Blackheath where the cloud's thickening. At the Skycops base at Lippitz Hill, it's even worse. It should really at night. Uh, we shouldn't really be flying if it's less than five. As you can see, it's dropping even as we speak. Does this constitute flying in cloud, Captain? I can't do thousands of feet as well. <laughs> Lippitz Hill does have its own weather system, which is why we have a controller who kind of constantly monitors the weather for us as well, and tells us what the cloud base and the visibility is doing, which can be completely different to what they are on task. That's not bad, Charlie. You've got the camera on the road and you can't even see it. There's now a real danger the Sky Cops will have to divert to another airfield and not be able to get back to their base. When the weather suddenly rolls in, it does, it raises the tension levels and you're constantly then thinking about, all right, if I can't get back to Libbits Hill, where do I go, how much fuel have I got? Suddenly, instead of being focused on the task, you're actually focused on the safety of the aircraft and the crew. It's down there somewhere. Yeah, it should be just the right yeah. of the nose, a bit of luck. Truly, the uh, uh, lip pad. Got down to 1893. Would it help if I waved as well? <laughs> <laughs> 100 feet. Despite appearances, this has been a close call. It's a bit like the, the swan. On the surface, we look uh, calm and collected and professional, and often underneath, we're running around at 100 miles an hour trying to make sure that we can deliver the, the service and do the job we're there to do. Police brought no charges against the boy caught in the garden. No charges were brought against the foolish youths who fought with fireworks in the streets of Peckham. The hit and run driver who was caught in a shower of sparks was banned from driving for a year. And despite the huge crowds at Blackheath, the night was a success with only four arrests.